distant time and faraway place, the planet of New Texas floats deep in space. Sky of three suns, land of precious ore, the carrion rush brought outlaws by the score. A lawman appears with powers of pop, wolf, puma, and bear. Protector of peace, mystic man from afar. Champion of justice, martial brave star. Rob that strata coach have to go through that ravine. <clears throat> Don't worry, Marshal. Sarah here will shut him down. Better take it easy with Sarah, Pard. You've been a little quick on the trigger lately. Well, we do what it takes to get the job done. Maybe so, but you know how I feel about guns. They shouldn't be used unless there's no other choice. <clears throat> I reckon that's one thing we'll never see eye to eye on, Marshal. Here they come. Let's go. Uh oh, they spotted us. They've switched on their turbo boost. Cover me. I'm going to try to head them off at the ravine. Speed of the Puma! Puma, Puma, Puma. He ain't going to make it. Gotta stop those varmints so the marshal can grab them. But he thinks I'm too trigger happy. Mm, blast! He said I should cover him, and there ain't no other way, even if he don't like it. Mm, do your thing, Sarah. Come on, we can make it through. Could have just gotten a closer beat on those miserable coyotes. You shouldn't have done it. I warned you about being too quick with Sarah. Too quick? <laughs> I was trying to help. Sarah's not helping much if she lets the bad guys get away. Well, I'll be dagnabbed. Brave Star, sounds to me as if you came down pretty hard on 3030. Maybe, but he's just gotten a little too quick on the draw lately. Well, it's a dangerous job, Marshal. I can understand why 3030 does it. Marshal! Marshal! He's out both of these calling. Dingo's robbing us a straddle cold. Tell him I'll be right over. Have you seen 3030? No, not since you got back. Have you seen him, Fuzz? Suffering snakes. He sure is making things hard. I'll have to head over to Outpost Ridge myself. If you see him, tell him to meet me there. I don't know what he wants from me. I give him everything I've got. And now he says everything I do is wrong. You're too quick on the trigger. You let the bad guys get away. Oh, me, me, 30-30, let the bear guys get away. Oh, what a bummer. I don't know why I stay with him. 
maybe I won't. Maybe I'll go back to where I belong. Lock these coyotes up, Buzz. No sign of 3030? No, nothing. It's as though he just disappeared. I think maybe Tex Hex is mixed up in this? I don't think so, Brave Star. Tex has been pretty quiet lately. Then where could he be? Well, maybe he did what we all want to do when we're unhappy. What do you mean? Maybe he went home. Home? What do you mean? His home is here. But a long time ago, before you were friends, his home was in the Hall of the Equestroids. The Hall of the Equestroids? But why? It was destroyed when we had our great battle. Because it was his home. And because... And because he may feel that you're not his friend anymore. What? Why would he feel that way? He knows I'm his friend. Just because we don't agree about when he should use that cannon of his doesn't mean he should run away. Friends disagree about things all the time. Brave Star, you and 3030 are the most courageous people I've ever known. But you're also the most stubborn. Both of you. What? I'd be willing to bet that 3030's at the Hall of the Equestroids. And if I were you, I'd go there right now. This is where it all began. <laughs> Seems like it was only yesterday. There was a loud noise in the Hall of the Equestroids. Strength of the Bear! Someone had broken in to steal the sacred gun. Hell. Must be it. The weapon. I moved into the sacred chamber to see who it was. Saw Brave Star for the first time. Must be lost. Wonder how it got here. Sure are a funny looking horse, aren't you, boy? Didn't much like the first thing he had to say. We'll find your owner later. Right now. Better get what I came for. And I definitely didn't like him going after the sacred gun. <laughs> mm. What a lousy way to start a friendship. All he really wanted was my weapon, Sarah Jane. So what do I do now? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Return. Return? Who's saying that? Return. <laughs> Over there, from the other side of the ruins. Blasted horse. Wait till I get my hands on him. The hall of the Equest Droids is over there, near Mount Equus. I'd better take a look. No sign of 3030. I better try a techno scan. There he is. JB was right. 3030's gone back to the Hall of the Equestroids. But why? Only one way to find out. Return! <laughs> Who are you? The voice of your ancestors. Return! Return? <laughs> Where? To the past. Return! The past. <laughs> Those were great times. I was really appreciated then. Why not? I I'll do it. I'll go back to the past. Where are you going? Back to where I'm wanted. <laughs> 
Wait! You're wanted here! What did he say? Back to where I'm wanted. What did he mean? I think it's time to have a talk with the shaman. I only saw him for a moment, before he disappeared into the ruins. Mm. And you had no warning that he wished to return to the Hall of the Equestroids? Not at first, but later. After I talked to JB, I realized I was being too hard on him. I need 3030, shaman. I need him bad. Ah, it is good for you to know that, for you to feel the absence of your friend. But it will not be easy to bring him back. Look. It's the Hall of the Equestroids and 3030. But the Hall is undamaged. It's the way it was before the great battle. Hmm, 30 has gone back to his past, back to the way he was before you came. Mm, what is it, my son? I just remembered what 3030 said before he stepped into the ruins. He said he was going back to where he was wanted. And so he did. But he's wrong. He's wanted here. I must get him back. It will not be easy. 3030 is now a part of the past. He will remember nothing of your friendship. I'll find a way to make him remember. Just tell me how to get there. There is only one way I must take you. Come, Brave Star. Back to the past. This is the way it looked when I first came here. Mm, this time, however, we cannot enter without permission. Permission? From whom? You shall see. Great Equus, we come in peace. Hear me, Great Equus. What do you want of me, Shaman? We want your help. I am here. Great Equus, we have come from the future to request the return of 3030. What? Return him to the future? No. He does not wish to leave the past again for empty friendships. Great Equus, I am Brave Star. My friendship for 3030 is not empty. I need his bravery and his companionship. If I've done anything to make him think that he was not my best friend, I apologize. Apologies mean nothing in the Hall of the Equestroids. Actions speak louder than words. What actions? Name them. I'll do whatever it takes. Then hear me, Brave Star. 3030 no longer remembers you. Only strength and skill can win back his friendship. He awaits you in the Great Hall. Your course is set, my son. I can do no more. If you win, my magic will bring you and 3030 back to the present. Uh, if you lose... I won't lose. I can't. I mustn't. Spirits, be with you. I'll need all the help I can get. Strength of the bear! It's just the way it was. Where are you, big part? I know you're here somewhere. Sarah Jane, you look as good as new. forgot what a wallop he packs. So I gave you a chance. But I see now that you have come to plunder like all the others. No, it's me. Brave Star, your friend. <laughs> Lies! I don't know you. There's 
There's gotta be a better way, 30. Stop it! Darn it! Let me explain who I am! Whoever you are, you only come to steal my Sarah Jane! That's not true! to do it this way again, big heart. Now then, if you'll hold still for a minute, maybe I can explain. I came back to apologize. To tell you that you're my best friend and to ask you to come back with me because I really need you. But if you don't want to come, I'll leave you in peace. Adios. We ain't finished! I ain't never lost a fight before and I don't intend to lose this one! We have to get out of here. Hugo, I have been defeated. I'm not leaving you here. You ain't got a choice! like we did the first time we met, only... <clears throat> Wait a minute. I almost forgot. I'm still mad at you. Now hold on, big part. One thing at a time. First of all, it was no dream. Ouch. I reckon not. <sighs> you done beat me again, didn't you? I think it was a little more like a tie this time. You mean... You came all the way back to the past and fought me again? Why? To let you know that you're my friend and that I need you. I'm happy to hear you say that, Marshal, but I gotta tell you, I still feel the same way I did before about using Sarah Jane. And I still feel the same way I did. So I reckon that's gonna have to be something that we just agree to disagree on. The important thing is that we're friends again. That's all that really matters. Let's head back to our own time. returned companions once again right and it wasn't any easier this time than it was last time you can say that again pal mm, perhaps you have both learned that true friendship is not always easy even the best companions will disagree about many things yep 
I reckon 3030 and I might not always feel the same way about things like when to use Sarah Jane, but we'll always be friends. Right, Big Bard? Right, Marshal. Best friend. In today's story, 3030 and I found out that even the best of friends can have differences of opinion. All good friends argue and quarrel with each other, but fighting's not the way to solve anything. As 3030 and I learned, good friends sometimes just have to agree to disagree without a fight. Right, big partner? Right on. 